All right, today we're just going to go ahead and make a basic bacon cheeseburger. And I'm just going to use some plain 80 20 ground beef and some blue and gold sausage that we're going to go ahead and add to this Blackstone. So let's go ahead and first of all, I got both burners set to about the same uh, medium to medium low actually. And we're just going to go ahead and lay these. I've got these bacon actually cut in half. That's why they're not as long. They'll fit on a burger perfectly this way. Let these cook up for a minute. We'll slide them over and add the burgers. The thin one there. Okay. Let's kind of cook them a little low for just a little while. Try to get them nice and crisp. If you don't like them as crispy, you don't have to cook them as long, but we're going to crisp them up. These front ones didn't quite get as hot, don't look like. Lay these toward the bottom where it don't get as hot. I'm going to go ahead and turn this side off. We're going to continue to cook a little bit. I'm going to put them on this side right over here. They'll stay warm because the rest of the grill on this side's on. Let me go ahead and scrape off some of this and we're going to put the burgers on. Add a little pepper. Maybe a little salt. Only a whole lot of be adding that bacon. But a little on there. Turned up the fire to medium to go ahead and get these cooked. You start to see it's cooking up nice. See it browning up, up the sides, so we'll turn them here in just a second. This one on the bottom ain't getting hot enough. Get it a little closer to the center. Does cook best in the center than the edges. These patties are all between five and six ounces each, so cooking an 80-20 combo here. I 
you want to help get the insides cooked a little more, got this dome here. Let the heat kind of stay inside just a little bit. We're also going to use that to melt some cheese here in a minute. Look at the colors really getting getting there now. Look at that. Turn the bacon back on low just to kind of heat it up a bit. See what the temperature is inside. Yeah, 140, 133. We're just about to add some cheese to them here in a minute. Let them cook just a little longer. Put that dome on one more time. Give it about. 45 seconds. I'm going to move these over here because I'm going to grill some onions on this side. And this side's not quite as hot. Got it on low. Melt some cheese on about four of them because not everybody wants melted cheese. Got some Kobe pepper jack. dome on them here. Throw a little olive oil. Actually, avocado oil. Onion. And a jalapenos. Grill these just a little bit. I'm actually going to throw a little oil right on them. Boy, it smells good. Checking on that. Look at that. Cheese is melting nicely with that dome on there. Gosh, that just smells amazing. These sauteed jalapenos and onions coming right at me. Dang, <laughs> it smells great. All right, let that cook just a little more. Let's toast a bun.
Let's build it. We're just going to throw a little mustard on here. Just like that. I do like cheese. We're going to throw this one. Look at that. Oh, throw that right on that. Let's not forget a couple pieces of bacon. Got it all plated up. I'm just going to throw this other bun right on top. Look at that. Let's cut into that. Look at that. Really, really good. Hmm. Kill this burner. You gotta get the rest of this stuff off before it burns. And let everybody else eat. This is Oki Smoking Channel where we cook outdoors on the Blackstone, the Pit Barrel, the Weber. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Have a great day. Hmm. Gotta take another bite.